Hey, for the Wall Street Journal, this is Jim Fusilli, and I'm here with members of the Punch Brothers, Chris Thiele and Noam Pekelny. They have a terrific new album, Who's Feeling Young Now? The name Progressive Bluegrass, I, I, you know, it doesn't quite do it. Does it do it for, for you guys? I mean, I guess you're sort of stuck with it now. People call you a progressive bluegrass band. I think, you know, I think it does as well as anything could. It's not something that we're, we're propagating. It's not a name that we, that we have anything invested in at all. But, but you know, people, people have to call things something. And, and I, I think it works as well as anything. We are, we, we at least look like a bluegrass band. And, and we're, yeah, we're happening paid, now. We're paid like a bluegrass band. <laughs> but, you know, people will use whatever term. I think we're, we're not offended by being called a bluegrass band. I think there might be some traditionalists who might be offended when other people refer to us as a bluegrass band. But, but I think it has to do with the instrumentation. People, people are probably now referring to certain bands as bluegrass who may have never heard of uh, Del McCurry or uh, of Bill Monroe, and bluegrass is becoming a very wide-ranging term. Well, I wanted to ask you ab about um, the fantasy of Bill Monroe coming to hear you guys. I mean, what do you think he would think of of, of you? Oh boy, I, I I don't know if I could assume. <laughs> I could assume that uh, he would maybe be entertained. <laughs> I hope he would be entertained. My, my, my suspicion is that he would, he would find it to be no part of nothing like he found, yeah. like he found uh, for instance, Newgrass Revival before us. Um, but, but I do think the, the irony of that is, you know, Bill, Bill was fiercely um, protective, my understanding, at least I, I met him a couple times um, and played for him a couple times. Um, both times, you know, I was, I was quite young, so he just said, that's a nice boy, and handed me a quarter. Um, <laughs> seriously. But, um, but I, I, he, was, he was fiercely protective of the music that he created. Um, but, but he, you know, himself was, was quite the innovator. Uh, you know, obviously he wasn't, he wasn't carrying on a tradition. Um, he, was, he, was, he was inventing one. And, and I think he mm -hmm. sought to... to um, uh, he, he, he wanted it to, to carry on, and I think he wanted it to carry on in a fashion that he was comfortable with, which is how he did it. Yeah, I think some of those quotes, there, there's this infamous quote of him hearing that it was the Newgrass Revival yeah. and saying it's no part of nothing. I think a lot of that may have been in jest. And yeah. I think with guys like Bill Monroe and, and Earl Scruggs, the two main architects of, of bluegrass music, they were creating something completely new. What I find interesting about your music, and it's probably hard for you to comment on this, maybe you can talk about the, the members who are not here, okay? <laughs> but, uh, and, and let's look at the new album. Um, these are not simple tunes that you've written for yourselves. These are complicated tunes. Some of them feel like interconnecting suites, um, and they're very demanding for you. And I think any serious musician would, would recognize that. Do you set up these kind of challenges for yourself? I mean. Well, I think you you know you want to you want to challenge yourself, um, e even as you want to satisfy yourself. And I think I think the five of us are are, are most interested in the kind of <clears throat> the kind of satisfaction that's surprising, and that you know that's rarely going to come from things that just that just you know sort of roll off the tongue, as it were. Um, and um, but at the same time, you also you, you we've fallen into the trap. Um, of of you know sort of challenging ourselves to the point of of um, of kind of excluding people or 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 alienating people and I think I think oftentimes we'll have an idea you know as a as a as a collective and start to develop the idea um, to the point where where the where what was special about it is is, is sort of you know 
lost in a piece of fog of, of other ideas. And, and on this record, we tried to simultaneously challenge and, and satisfy not only us, but, but our audience. If you're going to make an appeal to the head, you have to simultaneously be making an appeal to the heart and to the gut. And, and, and you want music to, that, that sounds, that, or that feels as good, or that dances as well as it thinks. And, and on this record, I think we, we, were, we, were, we were trying to, 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 to shift the balance a little bit towards, towards the more visceral, the more, the more uh, communal. <laughs>